Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. Today, we're going to have a taste of New Orleans, hurricane style. But does it really taste like New Orleans? Let's find out. All right, it's great to have every one of you back here today. Thank you for joining me. Today we're having a taste of New Orleans. That's right, New Orleans in a glass as it's called, the hurricane. This is a classic New Orleans cocktail that comes to us out of the 1940s. And this comes to us from Pat O'Brien's. Now previously to being called Pat O'Brien's, it used to be Mr. O'Brien's Club in Tipperary. And it was a speakeasy, so you had to have a secret words to get in there. And the secret passphrase was Storm's Bruin. But fast forward to the 1940s, it is the World War II. Not, did I just call it the World War II? I did. Anyways, it's World War II and everything is hard to get, except you could get gallons of cheap rum out of the Caribbean. So what did they do? They got these rums and they experimented on their clientele, which is perfect because people get a chance to drink and get soused when life really sucked in the 40s. So the, along came the, um, I can't even remember the name of the cocktail I'm making. Hurricane? Yes, the hurricane. Sorry, apparently I've just gone poof, right past my head. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the recipe from liquor.com. However, I'm making a slight change to this. So the first thing you need is your shaking glass. But this recipe calls for a passion fruit puree. Now I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to cut up and drop in half an actual passion fruit. Now, interestingly enough, when you look at these, my passion fruits, uh, this is orange. You normally see a lot of passion fruits that are purple or a dark purple and they're starting to get a little wiggly, but you can get them as orange as well. So give this a bit of a thing and wow, yeah, it's true. It does look like snot in a fruit. So that's about half an ounce. At least if it's pureed, it's probably a bit more. Now, one of the things about passion fruit, passion fruit, passion fruit, is that it is a little bit more on the tangy side. So this will not be as sweet as if I used passion fruit juice or a passion fruit puree. But I am gonna get the flavor that I want. Now, oh, the next thing we need is a little bit of grenadine, which is upstairs in the fridge, and I need you to go run upstairs right now and grab the grenadine, please. Run, 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 run. While she's doing that, my daughter is a wonderful person, I'm gonna put in half an ounce of a simple syrup. Now half an ounce works out to 15 mils. This is a one-to-one -one passion fruit syrup. And you know what, pretty simple. Throw it in the pot with some sugar, heat it up until it goes clear. Chemistry 101. Wow, look at that. Okay, the next thing we need is a little bit of lime juice. We need one ounce of lime juice. Uh, this is an interesting thing about this cocktail is they gave it a lot of uh, citrus fruits to really bring out those flavors. Oh, thank you for not falling face first with that. Ladies and gentlemen, my daughter did not fall face first with us, which is awesome. <laughs> So, as I was saying, one ounce, which works out to 30 milliliters. The next thing we need is orange juice. We need one ounce of orange juice as well. So I need the, the bigger squeezer here. Grab your orange, throw it in the air because you just want to look fancy. Now, I do need a piece for a garnish. So what I'll do is when I cut this in half, I am going to cut myself another thin slice and I'm going to put this off to the side right here. So one ounce is, of course, 30 mils, as you know. And where possible, use, uh, try not to spill it, and use fresh uh, fruit juices where you can. Just in my opinion, it just tastes better. It gives you uh, less added sugar and it hasn't been modified anyway. Oh, yum, look at that, put that there. Put these over there. Now, the reason I sent my daughter running up the stairs, we need one bar spoon 
of a uh, homemade grenadine. And this is a one to one grenadine to sugar ratio. You let it cook till it goes nice and clear. You let it simmer. You add a little bit of an orange liqueur if you don't have access to orange blossom water or orange oil. You just add a little bit more. Now that's about five mils, give or take. Mm. And the homemade stuff is always that much better. You need two ounces of white rum. Two ounces is 60 mils. I'm using a Havana three-year-old rub, rum or Havana club. Two ounces is 60 mils. What I learned about how to count. Next thing you need is a dark rum. Uh, traditionally it was used with maybe four ounces of pot stilled rum, but the recipes that you see most days are two ounces of a white rum or light rum as it's called, and two ounces of a dark rum. I'm using an Appleton Estate signature blend. Two ounces of this is 60 milliliters. We'll add just a bit more. That's uh, looking like a mighty full glass there. Slam that down, make sure your edges are lined up so it's nice and neat. Throw the thumb on there and shake it hard for a good 10 to 15 seconds until it's cold. Slap it with some effort. Look at that. Now, I'm going to serve this not in the traditional glass. The traditional glass for this during their time of testing was actually a Collins glass or a highball glass. It later, after a little bit of testing, became the hurricane glass because people like the look of this shape. So we're gonna do that. Now, we need a little bit of ice. I've chosen to use crushed ice, which I pleasantly beat with a pair of two by fours. I don't use a mallet or a hammer or anything like that. So my ice comes up really interestingly shaped. Take that big chunk out, we don't need that. Dry my hand. And I'm going to fine strain this. As soon as I find my fine strainer, which of course is upstairs, so what I will do is I will use, uh, you know what, I don't need this, whatever. I'm just going to close the gate. And what I mean by closing the gate is we're just going to push this down and this will keep a lot of the seeds out. Look at the bubbles, the bubbles. It looks damn tasty, doesn't it? <laughs> I got a little bit left over. This is good. I've got myself a, a little bit of uh, a garnish here now. Take your orange, slap this in. Come on, garnish. And we're going to add a cherry. You know what? I think we need a little bit of ice, a bit more ice first. So that's looking really, really good there. Grab a cherry, get yourself a nice cherry. These still have the stems on. These still have the, these. I have one with the stem finally. Look at that. These are Amarina cherries. I really, really like them. I'm gonna have to get myself a thing of Luxardo cherries. And there's just something about the syrup sauce that's so good. The next thing you need is your straw. So what we'll do is uh, scratch my nose, grab your steel sippy cylinder, as uh, the guy from Cocktail Chemistry calls it. Give it a sip. And realize that straws suck. The ice gets in them. Mmm. Nice and strong. The rum shines right through. Uh, it's not super sweet. The uh, passion fruit gives you just that little bit of a tang. The lime juice works well with it. The orange helps to offset it. And the grenadine really, and the super simple syrup really help to pull it together. Um, and again, because I didn't use a puree, which you normally add sugar to, you could increase the simple syrup a little bit if you uh, like a sweeter cocktail. Oh yeah. Mm. You know what? This is good. I really like this. This tastes like the good part of New Orleans. Um, it tastes like it's got a little bit of history and a little bit of yum to it. Mm. 
except you shouldn't be trying to chew uh, uh, ice cubes while you're doing this. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. If this is your first time to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you want to support the channel, please check us out on patreon.com forward slash booze on rocks because every little bit helps to uh, support and keep this going for you. And you know what? This is an awesome taste of New Orleans. Tell me what you think it tastes like. Leave a comment down below and we'll see you next time. Old town style. Yes, we're going to have a classic hurricane. But does it taste like New Orleans? Let's get find out. Welcome back to Booze in the Rocks. My name is David Edwards. Today we're going to taste... So at O'Brien's, they decided to test out different cocktails. 